Today I want to show you how to install a uh, bike computer on a Razer E300 electric scooter or any electric scooter. So usually uh, this bike computer or speedometer we usually install on the bike but does it work on a scooter with small wheel like this one? Let's find out. This is just a typical uh, bike computer that you can get at Walmart. This one is uh, made by Schwinn but it's pretty cheap around $10. So first let me show you how I install this bike computer on here. So I mount this on the on the handlebar. Okay. Going down here. Y goes all the way down here and the sensor is mounted on the fork. To mount the magnet on the rim, I just use some double-sided tape and uh, just stick it on. It's very strong and it's strong enough to uh, hold the magnet in place. The distance from the magnet to the sensor is quite far for this scooter. So what I did was I uh, just used a couple more layers of uh, double-sided double tape. And I put uh, two more magnets. So there are a total of three magnets in here. So to make it get closer to the sensor, otherwise the uh, sensor cannot sense the magnet. Alright, next is uh, time to set up the bike computer and um, the unit that's being used for setting this up is in millimeter so you have to measure it in millimeter so you gotta measure the diameter of the wheel in millimeter you can measure by inch and uh, convert it into millimeter but it has to be in millimeter. So in this case, my wheel diameter is 25 centimeter or 250 millimeter. The next step is to set it up on the bike computer itself. So we got two button here. To press and hold the two button. It's gonna get you to the uh, setup sequence. So this number here is a four digit number. This number here represent the circumference of your wheel okay so in this case that's my wheel right there from here to here is the diameter of the wheel which we got 250 millimeter but this number represent the circumference the distance around one round of the wheel so we need to calculate the circumference of this wheel and uh, it just involves a little bit of math so circumference c is 2r times pi or uh, diameter times pi so that's what we got here 250 millimeter pi 3.14 the uh, the answer is 785 millimeter that's the circumference of the wheel of my scooter so from here you have to set it up to 785 There we go, so we want miles per hour instead of kilometer per hour There we go all right, so let's test this to see if uh, I'm doing everything right. And also I want to see if uh, this is accurate. So I set up a rig here. I'm going to use my uh, uh, tachometer to measure the RPM of the wheel while it's spinning. And while this is showing the speed, so I can compare the speed of the uh, tachometer and the speed of the uh, speedometer. So the way I'm going to calculate the speed of the wheel using the uh, tachometer is just uh, use a simple math and then this method should be very accurate and then I'm going to compare it with the uh, speedometer to see if it uh, will match and because this is the front wheel of my Razor scooter so I cannot spin it while it's being stationary I put another electric scooter with the wheels touching so when this scooter spins the rear wheel 
will spin the front wheel so I can do my measurement. Alright, go! About 429 RPM. 430 RPM. Speed is 12.5 miles per hour. Right, so it's time to crunch in some number. On the left, we got the data from the uh, tachometer. On the right is my bike computer. So we got 430 RPM. The circumference of the wheel is 785 millimeter or 0.785 meter. From there, I can calculate the speed uh, of the wheel when it's spinning is uh, 430 times 0.785. That's per minute. And we got 337 meter per minute. So in one minute, it travels 337 meter. And I want this to be in kilometer per hour. So there are 60 minutes per hour. So I times 60. So I got 20,253 meter per hour. Or 20.25 kilometer per hour. Okay. And for my bike computer, we got 12.5 miles per hour. Or 20.11 kilometer per hour. So if you compare this two number, it's very, very close. And also, you have to consider each equipment has its own tolerance. This tachometer has its own tolerance. The bike computer has its own tolerance. Also, the bike computer it only shows one decimal place. So when it reach uh, 0 0.5. It's not exactly 0 0.5, but it, it should be a little bit more than 0 0.5. So it should be a little bit more than 20.11. So if you compare this number again with this number, if you raise this a little bit, these two numbers are almost identical. So there you have it, how to install a bike computer on a uh, small wheel electric scooter. But basically you can install this on anything that's got a wheel. And this number, it can go from 0 to 6,000. So you can install it on a very big wheel. And it's very, very accurate as I have tested. Alright, that's all for now. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.